Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss Python's iterators. Uh, we are doing that to understand in the next video the generator functions, but first we need to understand what are iterator, iterators in Python uh, programming language. Uh, iterators were used by you probably in, for, in organizing for loops, you were using that probably without even knowing, knowing that you are using iterators. Now we will define our iterator and we will use that, that iterator with full loop and you will see how, how that works. And iterators, uh, and to do that we, we are going to uh, use Fibonacci sequence uh, in which each number equals to the sum of the preceding two two numbers. First two elements are 0 and, and 1. Two, basically iterator is an object that implements the iterator protocol. Let's start doing that and you will see the, what is iterator protocol on a real example. So that's a class. Let's call it fib. It has of course magic function in it that shouldn't be called by by you it is called by interpreter you of course you can call it but that is always a bad idea we are passing to the constructor the parameter max which is the um, highest value of the Fibonacci sequence number our iterator will be able to generate and we assign assign the, this number to our self max variable and for uh, for implementing the iterator protocol first we, we are creating another magic function called iter which is being called by the constructs that are using iterators and this function should return an object that has uh, defined a function called next. But now we we are uh, we are assigning the first two values to a and b variables, and we'll define that next function shortly. In, by the way, in Python 3, this is also a magic function. So, we are creating an, a number, a variable that will hold the number which are we going to return to, to the uh, piece of code that uh, calls this next function. Firstly, it is the left number, I call the first number the left number and we, we will check if if our fib, the number we are going to return is higher than the maximum allowed number then uh, to implement the protocol the iterator protocol we have to raise an exception called stop iteration again this is for protocol and change the values values of the left and right numbers to respectively to right and the sum of previous two self a plus self b and return the Fibonacci number. So this is our iterator and let's use it for e in fib10 which is our maximal Fibonacci number print i. So now we will see the first now the first elements of Fibonacci sequence until 8 because the next one is greater than 10. So we can increase this number 
and that will not increase the amount of used memory, which is kind of the most pen uh, important benefit of the iterator object. So this this is uh, how uh, iterator protocol implemented. This is how Python iterator looks. And let's move on to discuss the Python generator functions, which are uh, I will say by secret are also iterators. So uh, subscribe, like, and if you have questions, feel free to ask those in comments. Bye.